Hi and welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday the 12th of August 2020. So yesterday everything uh, got uh, monkey hammered uh, including stocks, bonds, bullion, Bitcoin. Uh, they all puked as the, the article says here. Um, this was later on in the day in the early evening when this uh, happened and that's because the Fed came out with uh, an announcement. They were going to lower rates uh, for state and local governments so that they could borrow in order to get through the coronavirus uh, pandemic. And uh, again, it's uh, just a, a sleight of hand. The manipulation continues, but this was enough to uh, send uh, yields up on the 10 year. They spiked up and then we saw uh, the sell off in uh, all of the markets. However, if we uh, have a look at uh, the German DAX for yesterday, uh, we'll start off here with the daily chart and uh, you can see that price is traded up to the 13,000 level that I uh, spoke about in yesterday morning's alert and how strong the market uh, was looking to actually break through to this level. You can see that it actually traded up to uh, uh, 13,047 before the market turned around and uh, return to the downside and then uh, sold off sharply in the evening and now we see prices are back at that same level that I spoke about uh, that the market was likely to trade to yesterday morning which uh, of course uh, it did. So let's have a look at uh, yesterday's uh, trades and uh, see what uh, happened. So after concluding the market alert yesterday morning the market went to the upside uh, we can see the potential weakness here inside of the green bars and then prices uh, sail down to the 200 bar moving average but you can see uh, the big boys buying in at uh, this level you can also see them retesting down here as well and buying here prices uh, moved higher they were sideways uh, in the, before the market opened and then uh, the market uh, immediately put in a sell signal. It was uh, really fast straight off the uh, the bat. Uh, it took me ages uh, to uh, um, actually decide what to do here because uh, I'd already missed the boat. And you'll see me bring up the uh, uh, the ticket uh, shortly. It'll appear on the screen as I was uh, busy making a cup of tea. And then uh, eventually I got back to the desk. And uh, I thought, well, if the market breaks the L1 and based on what I'd already spoken about in the market alert, this is likely to move higher. And uh, that's precisely what uh, the market did. You'll see there it came straight uh, back through there. So then immediately uh, following this, the market uh, just continued to move as uh, I'd spoken of in the market alert and just kept moving to the upside all the way through. Uh, we had some selling at the R2, which is the 12874, uh, which I'd already uh, highlighted. And then prices uh, continued uh, to move higher. You can see I'm coming back here and uh, checking in the daily charges to see where we are. This is what I spoke about. You can see the market trading at this point. We take out here, then we've got this point here, and we've also got uh, this one here in the daily chart. So I'm always looking at the bigger picture to see where the markets are trading. So this uh, then sees the market uh, moving to the upside, continuing, and then we've got the 12.390, the market trades sideways, and eventually it breaks. And again, I'm coming back to the daily chart to have a look, and uh, the 12.977, the 13,000 level is uh, on the cards. You see that it's strongly moving up, and uh, again, you'll see prices, and this is the uh, 13,000 uh, level. Here, so prices then sideways again. They break through, and I'm marking up just to see where the resistance is. See if the market will break through. Trade sideways for a while, uh, as you can see, their potential weakness comes back to the 20 bar moving average, and then prices uh, move higher once more. Uh, we've got a, a sell signal there to contend with, or a potential signal uh, which isn't filled. The market then trades sideways and uh, comes back. The uh, resistance which we've got uh, here to the left you can see it here and uh, we get a potential buy signal uh, and oddly enough uh, the market uh, doesn't fill this uh, but and then um, just to rub salt into the wounds you'll see the market uh, trade sideways and then eventually continue to move on through to the 13,000 there so 
everything that uh, we spoke about uh, in yesterday morning's market alert you see prices uh, you know doing this uh, throughout uh, the trading session in the morning and then uh, in the afternoon session uh, if we just uh, fast forward here so the market opened uh, prices uh, sold off uh, initially they found support at the r3 where in the morning session the market had actually gone through this i uh, didn't hold they reversed and came down and put in a sell signal having tried to stay above the r3 for the uh, session uh, throughout the the mid morning session that is uh, prices uh, then started to uh, move lower the sell signal was filled the market traded down to the scalp we then traded down to the brn moved the stop to break even by this point and then prices uh, started to show some sort of support coming into the market uh, at this point and then uh, managed to uh, move uh, lower but starting to uh, again show that uh, support until prices moved towards the uh, brn and again this would have been the opportune moment to have exited the stage you're sitting on 74 points at this time but unfortunately uh, i didn't i waited a bit longer just to see what the market would do and you can see from the tiny bar there the volume is more or less the same size as the previous bar but less in range and prices then uh, reversed and started to move back to uh, the upside there and eventually uh, they bounce off the 20 bar moving average in the brn so it retraced 50 points then uh, started to come back had another look at uh, the uh, brn level there already stopped out of the trade at this point and then uh, prices uh, drifted towards the uh, r2 you can see some uh, buying coming in at this point from the shorts and then prices uh, find support and start to come back also uh, notice uh, this uh, bar here if i just draw it a bit straighter you'll see uh, their prices uh, sitting on the brn and then uh, starting to uh, come back and then we have a potential buy signal and uh, this wasn't going anywhere and it was late in the afternoon so i decided to uh, pull this trade uh, losing uh, i think it was eight eight points it may have been a, a bit more actually i think it was 16 points uh, from the seven uh, from the 60 odd that i'd made earlier and then uh, prices of course uh, put in a sell signal which uh, wasn't filled and then prices uh, reversed and did that classic of uh, coming back off the 20 bar moving average with prices uh, then uh, moving to the upside as you'll see they're going through the scalp and uh, trading up until it closes uh, below the five bar moving average which uh, i was no longer at the desk at this point having uh, left for the day but uh, yeah so this one actually worked out fine um, i just uh, got out uh, too soon thinking that we may have seen a reversal but you shouldn't uh, trade on based on what you think um, as the market hadn't given a posing signal or uh, come anywhere near the initial stop in this particular trade but um, there you go I thought we were going to get uh, another reversal like this here. I thought, well, we'll probably see this and then go down to that uh, R2. But, of course, that wasn't the case. And I stuck to the rules uh, on this one. Uh, it would have been a, a nice, uh, profitable trade as well. Okay, let's have a look, see what the two-minute chart is doing on the overnight market. So overnight um, prices, well, you can see where they, they started to drop uh, later on in the evening as well. And this is when the Dow went and uh, gold and silver which i'll come to in just a second and then the uh, dax you can see ended up gapping up uh, at uh, 1 a.m this morning prices have traded lower and they've been in a sideways uh, move uh, since then so what i'm going to do is just do uh, as normal before uh, i finish is have a look see where i am in the bigger picture uh, in the two minute chart in fact let's have a look at the daily chart and see where we are because we've traded uh, to the uh, uh, the resistance levels that we saw in yesterday's uh, market alerts and all the way up to the uh, 13,047. Uh, the biggest thing here is, let me just remove all of these other lines so you, I can draw your attention to it. For me, the biggest thing here is, uh, I've deleted them all now, is, is that uh, confluence that we had of the two fibs there, the 78 and the 89. 
Uh, so just just rewind and uh, you'll see it. So there is a major resistance in uh, this uh, area of those uh, two fibs that were on the chart and the one is now missing. So a close below the uh, 20 bar moving average will see prices uh, moving lower there. So back to the two minute chart. Uh, we can see this weakness because prices are below the DP and the 200 MA and yesterday's close. And what I will be looking for here, I can see yesterday's high, we're nowhere near it, we're nowhere near the R1. Uh, so what I'm looking for with this weakness that we can see at the moment is yesterday's low. So if prices trade down to the low, you're going to be looking for some sort of profit taking by the shorts and also the potential to reverse and move the market or attempt to move the market back as well because uh, as I keep saying they want the market uh, to the upside so let's just have uh, a look at uh, news uh, let's have a look here today we've got uh, uh, from the UK we've got GDP uh, the preliminary and uh, the quarterly GDP is uh, predicted at minus 20.5 and then uh, 130 we've got uh, CPI core CPI from the US and then at 330 we've got um, the crude oil inventories as well, which uh, the, I think the demand was either up yesterday or there was something about crude oil that I saw yesterday, which I can't recall. So I would expect a bit of volatility around here. It was uh, to actually make the news the day before uh, was about uh, either the pull on the reserves or the reserves had increased. I can't remember now. It was a headline I was taken up with uh, other news items at the time. So just watch out for the 3.30 uh, p.m. one there. And the last thing that I, I want to uh, show you, let me just uh, bring this in, um, if I can find it, is the implied volatility using the color coded one. Uh, we've got a bit of uh, an amber warning here in the uh, implied volatility as well, which would add to the potential for uh, a bit of a, a down move in uh, the DAX and in the Dow as well. So uh, you're aware of this that uh, the uh, options uh, sellers have increased uh, the implied volatility there. And then finally, uh, yesterday, the silver market uh, had a hell of a pullback. Uh, is there any way to describe it? Uh, you can see their prices uh, being uh, hammered to the downside. One of the biggest uh, one day corrections. Uh, but uh, as I've said before, uh, there is a potential prospect of the physical silver not being delivered in September and if you are on the wrong side of that trade it's going to cost you billions so the best thing to do is to sell billions of ounces into the futures market and correct the market after this move. This is healthy. Uh, this is a very healthy uh, move in a new bull market and trading down to the 20 bar moving average as well. Prices could trade down to as low as $23 an ounce and uh, as you have seen on uh, the ETX uh, platform, just turn this into a daily. I have uh, positions down here, so I'm not really affected by this. Uh, yeah, I've given up some of the profit, but that's not a problem. Um, it wouldn't bother me if they brought the market all the way back down to $12. Uh, I would just give me the opportunity to, to buy back in. So at the moment, uh, I'm seeing uh, uh, at least a 50% pullback on the uh, uh, profits that I've got on this, but I'm not concerned at all. It's going to give me a chance to buy in this area where I didn't get a chance to actually load up um, because I was uh, busy in uh, silver ETFs at the time, uh, which I mentioned yesterday had taken uh, over 20,000 uh, in profits on uh, that. Uh, so uh, this this pullback is uh, is a dream for me. It's uh, exactly what uh, I've been uh, after and uh, looking forward to uh, once the prices have uh, uh, settled and consolidated to actually get back. And the only concern I have actually, if I have one about uh, if prices could move lower, is uh, the US dollar. Uh, following the move to the downside there, we could see uh, a retracement in this market. And if we get that, it's going to put downward pressure on the metals. Uh, and that's fine by me, because as I've just said, the lower they go, the, the better the entry price ready for the next swing, because there's no way that the US dollar is going to hold going forward. Nothing changes with a one-day correction in the precious metals. Gold also uh, 
moved lower yesterday as well. So if we get a, a move back like this, then the precious metals are going to, when I say like this, I mean this here, then we're going to get a correction, further correction in the precious metals, but it's not a problem. Like I say, I'll just, um, it'll give a great opportunity to buy in because eventually the uh, US dollar is uh, like any other currency, is uh, devaluing, it's, it's lost its purchase power. And uh, as we head into the autumn, you're going to see all sorts of carnage in the markets. And then, then there will be a flight to quality again, having shaken out the uh, traders, the wheat longs in uh, the um, silver mark, in the, uh, there you go, in the daily chart. I mean, shaking out uh, these traders, the market then will be ripe for a, uh, another move back to the upside and way past uh, those all-time highs that uh, we've seen in the monthly uh, here at uh, 49. Uh, we'll certainly uh, get uh, through this, so that's uh, fine by me. Corrections are healthy and they should be welcomed and they provide you with uh, great opportunities to actually add to a new bull market. Okay, I've gone on far too long uh, in this uh, market alert, uh, so uh, let me conclude. And as I say, uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.